Atali Dal people had real, but this government was unstable. Like in so Bihar, UP also government was unstable. Hello, student. Welcome to Prodas IS. Today, I am going to discuss about the Khalistani movement. You know that this topic is very important and crucial for 2025 examination. Maybe for prelims also, mains also, and interview also. Especially for those who are from Pakistan or other parts of India also. Why this topic is very important? Because recently it was in the news that the Indian government is blamed for its role in the assassination of the Niger, who was a Khalistani supporter who was assassinated in Canada. So there is a there is a diplomatic crisis happening between India and Canada. So for that purpose, this topic is very crucial, and for this one, we have to go into the Khalistani movement. That why this movement is very important, and what was the Indira Gandhi plan for the Khalistani movement? Why was Operation Blue Star launched? What was anti Sikh riots, and what is the different background? that will help us to understand this whole topic. So in today's video of about 10 to 15 minutes, we will try to summarize the all important events that led to the Operation Blue Star followed by the NTC Croats and then what is the present scenario and what is finally India and Canada crisis. These all things we will discuss in this small video. So first of all, let me tell you what is the historical background of the Khalistani movement and what is the major agenda. So when we talk about Khalistani movement student, the most important three topics are very important to understand the Khalistani movement. The topic number one, we can have the partition of India. You know that when the partition was in the 1947, when India was partitioned in 1947, part, the Punjab region was also partitioned into how many parts? Two parts. One part of Punjab, especially which is dominated by the Muslims, including the areas called the Rawal Pindi and all, went into Pakistan and Eastern Punjab came to be a part of India. So, partition is the major causes behind this one. Second important causes Hamara hai. Punjabi Suma movement, Punjabi Suba movement. You know that in the 1955 onward, there was a demand of the reorganization of Indian state on the basis of language and Punjab was one such state. You know, when India became independent, especially the Punjab became like this one. You can see this map. In this map, you have a Pepsu. So, Pepsu was a Pepsu full form is a, the Patiala and Eastern Punjab State Association. So, Pepsu, you can see this map, in this map, especially it is Haryana, then parts of Punjab and then parts of nearby the Himachal Pradesh. Right? These all regions are the part of Pepsu and especially movement was there that there should be the partition of Punjab, reorganization of Punjab and Haryana according to the linguistic line. So, Haryana and Punjab were separated in 1966. So, before this 1966, the Punjab has a diversity of the culture religious also and linguistically also. So many Hindi speaking people are in Punjab, but do you know when Panda, Punjab was partitioned in 1966, Punjab had a mostly the Punjabi language is more dominant. Sikh become more dominant especially after the partition of Punjab. And when Punjab was partitioned, next year election was supposed to be held, you know. So 1967 elections in about the 8 to 9 states, Indira Gandhi had or the Congress party had lost the elections and major regional party formed the government especially in Kerala, then Bengal, then Bihar, then we have Tamil Nadu, then we have Punjab. So Punjab has a Atali Dal government here now. But again elections happened next time in the 1971. In that election Atali Dal had been defeated and do you know in that election these people had only one parliamentary seat. So, marginal, so marginalization in the politics of Atali Dal led to the feeling about the people that no, Punjab belongs to us and we should have our Punjab. Why Congress is ruling our Punjab in the 1971 election? So, because of these things only, these people had signed a Anandpur Sahib resolutions. And according to this resolution, these people focus on the greater autonomy of this region. 
So before I discuss in detail about who is involved, the persons like Diani Jail Singh, Jarnail Singh, Vindaran Valan, Sahabet Singh, Indra Gandhi and all this detail, I have a separate PPT for all these people. We will discuss after some time. Before that, let me tell you, let me take you to the historical background. That what is the background of Punjab and how can we understand this Punjab after independence. Okay, let us have a discussion. You know that when India became independent, especially Diyani Gurmit Singh Musafir was the first CM of Punjab. He is from the Congress party. And in the 1967 election, Akali Dal formed the government and Gurnam Singh became the first non-Congress CM in Punjab. But do you know, Akali Dal people had real, but this government was unstable. Like in so Bihar, UP also government was unstable. After the 1967 election, same thing happened as student in Punjab also. So, government was unstable and we have the Lachman Singh Gil, then we have Gurnam Singh, then we have Patas Singh Badal. The so four CMs it is seen and so many precedent rule is imposed in Punjab between 1967 to 1971. So, Punjab had some unstability form of government in between this time. And then what happened? In 1971 election, Congress returned to power and Jani Jail Singh became the CM in Punjab. Gyani Jail Singh, the same person who became later on the president of India, about him I will discuss separately in this video. Then what happens here? 1977 election after emergency, Atali Dal returned to power. And when Atali Dal came back to power, now Congress has to use opposition of the Atali Dal to break Atali Dal. And who was the most opponent of Akali Dal in Punjab in this time, 1977 to 1980? This person was none other than Jarnail Singh Vindaran Valan. So, so Jarnail Singh Vindaran Valan was the important person who was supported not only by Gyani Jail Singh or Sanjay Gandhi, but he was supported by Indira Gandhi also. So, this was the policy and the politics of appeasement that had created Vindaran Valan, especially in the 1977 to 80, so that he can be used as a tool to break down Atali Dal. And same thing happened in the 1980 election, Congress party returned to power in Punjab. And after that problems occur. When Congress party came to power in Punjab, Jani Jail Singh was made the Home Minister in the Central Government and then new CM become. So CM or Lumit Takrab chal rahi thi, now especially Akali Dal and Bhindaran Valan merged together. The two enemies are together. And these people are demanding the greater autonomy of Punjab as per the Anandpur Sahib resolutions. And Ushri Bad Jaisi Ye Chije Hoji, then he will become more radicalized and Indian government had to take actions against him. That is especially seen in the Operation Blue Star. About all these topics, I will be separately discussing. Okay, so now let us discuss firstly that what is this Anandpur Sahib resolution of 1973 and how can we understand this topic very nicely. Hai na? So, when we when we come to know about the Anandpur Sahib conference, hai na, what is the resolution, resolution is passed? This is especially drafted by this is especially drafted by at a time when Akali Dal has faced its defeat in the 1971 election. Do you know it had secured only one parliamentary seat? So they decided to prepare. Hai na? So persons like especially Surjit Singh, Varnala, Dur Charan Singh, Tohra, and we have Jivan Singh. Umarangal. These people had formulated and this resolution had been drafted by Sardar Kapoor Singh and it was adopted in the Anandpur Sahib conference. It was uh, endorsed by the 18th All India Akali Dal conference. What is the major demand of this resolution which is seen by the Indian government as a anti-India extent? Kya is tha? So we can divide this resolution into three important parts. One part is a religious demand student. Religious demand mein, these people wanted to make Punjab a, they wanted to make Sikhism as a distinct religion, different from Hinduism as a distinct religion. Hai na? These people wanted to strengthen the Sikh institutions of Gurdwara. Hai na? These people wanted to return Sikh traditions and this one. And these people wanted to have the global unification of Gurdwara administrations. 
Apart from it, in the political and economic demand, do you know what was the major demand of these people? These people wanted the greater autonomy for Punjab with the federal structure like uh, 370 is given to Kashmir. Vaisai Kushin ko chihe tha. They focus on the qom, ki et Punjab qom banega, Sikh qom banega and that can be uh, means for the people or the nation. So this emphasizes on the qom of the Anand Pur Sahib conference was taken by the IP and the Indian government as a threat of India. And then we have the, they wanted the transfer of Chandigarh to Punjab. You know that Chandigarh is the capital of both Haryana and Punjab. Then we have, they wanted to have equitable distribution of resources like water for irrigation and all and devolution of power. In the social ground, these people wanted to have er eradication of poverty, elimination of caste-based discrimination, and then we have the promotion of literacy and self-reliance. Right? These are the major demands. I do not think any of the demand is bad, except talking about a separate form or talking about a different, uh, greater autonomy. Apart from these things, political demand, I do not find any of the demand is bad. So, demand to har karta India. So, there was a problem here, but the rest of it was not good. Especially when in 1980, when the Congress party was returned, and Akali Dal and Bhindari Walan became together in the 1980s, then the separate state demand was started from there. And that we will discuss in detail historically, that what is the scholar talks about the character of Bhindari Walan, who was he, and what was the politics going on. Before I go into detail about the individual person like Vindaran Valen, then we have Sahabet Singh, then we have Jarnail Singh and all. Let me tell you what is the historical timeline and what happens from beginning. So 1978 me kya start hua? There is a clash between the Vindaran Valen and we have the Akali Dal. Hai na? So Akali Dal ke saath, sorry, Nirantari ke saath thoda sa differentiations ho hai. Now who are Nirantari? You know, Sikhism does not believe in living Guru. Guru Gobind Singh was the 10th Guru and after that there won't be any living Guru. Guru Granth Sahib will be the ultimate Guru for Sikhism. But in this time, the 19th century only and particularly in the 1970s, there is a new concept which is arising in the all part of Punjab and parts of India. And not only Sikhism, but Hindu, Christian, Muslims also become the uh, supporters of Nirankari. These people believe in the living, living Guru. And these people did not follow the proper uh, systems, traditions, customs, culture followed by the Sikhism. So there is a clash between the groups of uh, Nirankari and clash between the Vindaran and Balan that led to the militant action in the 1978. 1970, 1980s, Vindaran Valen emerged as the very important point and he became a very important leader demanding the Khalistani and leading to a violent protest. So he started Khalistani, Khalistan region, and then he led a violent protest. In 1980, do you know what he has done? In the 1980, when Darren joined hands with SAD and launched the Dharm Yudh Morsa in 1982. And in 1984, Operation Blue Star was launched with the support of the Indian Army. They attacked on Amritsar to evict the militants led by the Vindaran Valan and supported by the Sahabet Singh. Do you know this person is the same Sahabet Singh who was a major general of the army before some time. We will discuss separately about this person who was this Sahabet Singh and what was his role in this, uh, uh, in this uh, Khalistani movement. October 31st, 1980 followed by the assassination of Prime Minister Gandhi. Aapko pata hai, the Sikh were very unhappy or jo hamari Gandhi jo leader thi, Unke, unke jo do bodyguard the who had killed her that led to the followed by the anti Sikh riots and finally Air India flight was especially bombed by the Khalistani extremists especially the that is mastermind by Indrajit Singh Rayat and Talbinder Singh Parmar hai na, who had killed about 329 people. Hai na? You can see this one it is aircraft involved VTEPFO had been especially done. So, this flight break was in the air space, and then it was completed with the 1985. It is signed by the Sant Harchandra Singh Longonwala, who was a moderate leader of the Atali Dal, who signed a treaty with Rajiv Gandhi Longonwala Accord in 1985. 
और 1990s में बहुत सारे काउंटर इंसर्जेंसी हुआ एंड देन वी हैव दी डीजीपी ऑफ पंजाब के पी एस रिल ट्राई टू सप्रेस द रिवोल्ट ओके नाउ लेट मी टेल यू वाट हैपन्स आफ्टर दिस एंड हु इज दिस पर्सन लेट एस डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट हिम दिस पर्सन दैट वी नो अबाउट द विंडारन वालन जर्नेल सिंह विंडारन वालन सो जन सो दिस पर्सन जन जर्नेल सिंह विंडारन वालन क्या थे तो ही इज अ नॉर्मल पर्सन बॉर्न इन पंजाब एंड ही वॉज दी ही वॉज दी जथेदार ऑफ दी स्पेशली अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेट कॉल दम दमी तत्साई सो स्पेशली दम दई तत्साई के इंपॉर्टेंट सेट थे एंड इज अ प्रोमोटर ऑफ दिस वन he become very powerful especially when he was supported by the congress party to break the akali dal the person like gyani jail singh sanjay gandhi indira gandhi had supported him so by the time of the 1978 he had a anti sikh clash between the vindar and valen and then 1982 he and his cadre fortified the atal takht with golden temple complex with the support of the harchand singh longowala effectively setting up a parallel government in punjab this is what we know about this person so when darren walnet son including targeting the hindus and a state institutions contributed to the communal tensions and his portrayal as a militant ruler do you know this person is involved into the assassination of the punjab police dig as atwal in april 1983 so he is now targeting the hindus he is now targeting the temples he is now targeting the state institutions and he is assassinating the police officials so he is targeting because uh, he is targeting the national symbol in punjab so this person was seen as a militant and he was not less than the traditionalist by this time he, he i know that he is supported he is supported by the congress party that is bad and it is a politics or game but the actions he the, the the communal action he was taking was or can never be justified okay this is what we know about this person so if this is followed by the anti sikh riot in the different part of india before this time in 1983 mein hi haryana mein sikh people target gurdwara and then we have a larger deployment of the crpf and the central reserve police force in the punjab and chandigarh and the amritsar region so that led to the development of more more crisis here happening especially in the punjab region who is this person or this ideology bhi samajhte hain inke bare mein kaha jata hai ki especially we have the person call lieutenant journal j lieutenant we have the person call lieutenant journal j s arwa highlight that that these people bipans so mostly the bipans of these peoples were locally sourced and they are not coming from the outside so he write that there is no outside involvement because of the bipans we have found so there is lack of the outside involvement in this in the in, in this punjab crisis like if you claim no it was supported by canada it may, it may be supported by pakistan because their arms was mostly localized mostly localized then we do we know about the ambiguous stance bindaran walan constantly stated that he neither supported he neither supported or opposed the idea of khalistan but indicated that if it is offered hai na he will not reject it matlab he was in the support of khalistan he needed khalistan i think hai na to separate so he especially his rhetoric often highlighted the distinctiveness of the sikhism using the word called qaum which is can be interpreted as a nation or the people to a sort of community unit identity so basically he wanted to discuss against discriminations so his views on khalistan was linked on how sikh people were treated within india he suggested that a separate state would be considered only if their rights and identity are threatened he bol rahe mujhe desh nahi chahiye agar hamare rights हमारे आइडियोलॉजी uh, हमारे धर्म बचे रहे तो आई डी नॉट नीड एनी कंट्री सेपरेट की जरूरत है आवर राइट आवर थिंग शुड बी रेस्पेक्टेड तो बट इनकी जो इतनी सारी जो इंसर्जेंसी चली दैट इज अ मेजर पॉइंट अब समझते हैं व्हाट इज अ गवर्नमेंट परसेप्शन ऑन भिंडारन वालन सो इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसी बिलीव दैट भिंडारन वालन वज प्रिफेंट टू डिक्लेयर खालिस्तान विद एलेज सपोर्ट फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान करेंसी से सपोर्ट से पाकिस्तान वॉज फंडिंग दिस मूवमेंट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट को लगा रॉ को लगा 
former raw official G. P. S. Sindhu claimed in his writing that agency played a role in exaggerating the Khalistani issue. मतलब Khalistani issue उतना बड़ा नहीं था जितना कि raw ने इसको बना दिया बाद में. It was not so much big problems. So this so this Khalistani movement and the idea of separateness among the Sikh people was not large. This is the circumstances that is growing in the 1980s and 84 that made this movement very large, है ना? And this police action that is known as the Operation Blue Star is major role behind the raising of the idea of the Khalistani movement. It is also argued that Vindaran Valan was ready to negotiate. who had demanded the greater autonomy for punjab as per the anandpur sahib conference but talk fail ho chuka hai so talk between the vindaran valen and the indian government fell due to political mistrust and ls interference aur ab point hai that especially he thought that hai na he thought that and he said we have the ambassador daljit singh pannun writes in his writing that vindaran valen argued agreed to disarm and dialogue with the indian government but he felt betrayed when no inspiration was given and follow up came from the indira gandhi and many historian had right that the matter had been exaggerated lightly so ye hamara main circumstances tha jise humne thoda sa samjha ab hum chalte hain detail mein padhne ke liye is important topic ko that is a uh, operation blue star okay and we will discuss that what is operation blue star so give me some more time and we'll discuss uh, we'll be continue discuss on this topic so this operation blue star kya hai this was launched in june 3 to 8 1984 they know this operation blue star the simple aim of this star was to neutralize the militant hai na hame kya karna tha isme we had to न्यूट्रलाइज द मिलीटेंट है ना तो हमें इफ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ऑपरेशन बुल स्टार वी हैड टू न्यूट्रलाइज द मिलीटेंट इंक्लूडिंग भिंडार एन वालन हु हैड हाइड अप इन टू द गोल्डन टेम्पल पार्टिकुलरली द अकल तख्त दिस वॉज एग्जीक्यूटेड बाई द दी लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी कुलदीप सिंह बरार अंडर द ऑर्डर ऑफ द पी एम गांधी अ हेवी आर्टिलरी टैंक कमांडोज बर डिप्लॉयड एंड भिंडार एन वालन एंड इज क्लोज आइड्स बर अटैक एंड किल्ड इसमें डिबेट ये भी है कि भिंडार ने वाला मरे हैं कि नहीं मरे हैं आई हैव डन लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च थ्रू दैट रिसर्च वी फाउंड दैट द फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड द पुलिस हैव आइडेंटिफाइड भिंडार ने वालन बॉडी आइडेंटिफाई है कि वी वॉज किल एंड इवन दी शाहबाज सिंह वॉज ऑल्सो किल ही ऑल्सो डाइड है ना विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन बट डू नो दिस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट दिस ऑपरेशन स्टोरी इज दैट द परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया वॉज नॉट ब्रिफ्ट अबाउट दिस मैटर उनको बताया नहीं गया था कि ऑपरेशन होने वाला है और इतनी दिन से प्लान चल रही थी और जो हमारे जो जो जर्नल है लेफ्टिनेंट जर्नल कुलदीप सिंह बरार को भी उतनी बड़ी ऑर्डर नहीं मिली थी उनको बस लास्ट में बताया गया हमें करना है करो और उन्होंने भी कर दिया सो स्पेशली प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ज्ञानी जेल सिंह वॉज इन्फॉर्म्ड और डे बिफोर आपको पता है ज्ञानी जेल सिंह वॉज वेरी क्लोज टू इंदिरा गांधी बट विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट दिस पर्सन आफ्टर दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन तो वाट हैपन आफ्टर दिस ऑपरेशन ब्लू स्टार दिस रिजल्टेड As per the official figure, five to six hundred people died, while an unofficial data figure claim about one thousand deaths. In this, Indian Army has lost eighty-three soldiers, with over two hundred two hundred people have about injured. है ना? This is what we know about Operation Blue Star. इस Operation Blue Star में जो सबसे important जो चीज हमारे पास हुई है यहाँ पे, that is the most interesting point, student. What is the most interesting point? In this Operation Blue Star, the Sikh people claim that the sikh people claim that their identity culture their their trust customs over the golden temple had been hurt these people thought that their beliefs in temple had been especially neglected by the indian army and indian government because what you find here is that the indian army enter into the golden temple and the special sanctum with the shoes and the guns विच आर आइडियली नॉट अलाउड है ना गोल्डन टेम्पल जो हमारा इंटर गुरुद्वारा है उसमें गन जूते वगैरह अलाउड नहीं होते हैं सो दिस पीपल स्पेशली क्लेम दैट इन दैट देयर सेंटिमेंट हैड बिन हार्ट बट आई डोंट बिलीव दैट इफ द ऑपरेशन हैपन्स लाइक लार्ज स्केल ऑपरेशन वेयर दी द नेशनलिज्म इज इन्वॉल्व वेयर दी टेररिज्म हैज टू बी काउंटर वेयर नो टेम्पल नथिंग इज अबाउट 
वेन यू टॉक अबाउट ए स्टेट हमारे देश में स्टेट से बड़ा कुछ नहीं है स्टेट इज स्टेट इज अब एवरीथिंग नेशनलिज्म इज अब एवरीथिंग तो वेन द मैटर इज अबाउट नेशनलिज्म वी डू नॉट केयर अबाउट रिलीजियन एंड इट हैड बीन इन आवर ब्लड सो द पॉइंट इज दैट है ना दिस पीपल क्लेम दैट देयर सेंटिमेंट हैड बीन हर्ट दैट लेड टू दिनेशन ऑफ आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिरा गांधी but it was not that let us discuss in detail so what happened especially when this operations happened gyani jail singh as a president of india had visited that place and do you know he was also attacked by the people this operation happened in the month of june 1984 and when especially our president had visited that place in july he had been attacked and he got saved his life with his bodyguard and his bodyguard had died बस स्किप हो गया था नहीं तो हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर से पहले द प्रेसिडेंट वुड हैव बीन एसोसिनेटेड ज्ञानी जेल सिंह एंड देयर आफ्टर यू नो दैट अ ब्यूटीफुल थीम केम दैट दैट इज एसोसिनेशन ऑफ आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिरा गांधी सो देर वर टू इंपॉर्टेंट बॉडी गार्ड एंड द आई बी हैड इन्फॉर्म प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट यू शूड स्पेशली डू नॉट कीप एनी सिक बॉडी गार्ड इट विल हार्म योर हेल्थ है ना इट इज अ चांस सो द पीपल हैड अ नॉलेज the ib and the bureau had a knowledge that she can be assassinated and same thing happened to her on the 31st of october 1984 especially by the two sikh bodyguard one is a satwan singh and then we have second we have a bian singh so once she was killed rajiv gandhi was on the tour in bengal election and especially with him Uh, there is a very interesting story about that. That finance minister uh, Padma Mukherjee was also there, and Gyani Jail Singh now wanted Padma Mukherjee to become the Prime Minister of India at a, at a time. So Padma Mukherjee also told Rajiv Gandhi that we should declare someone as a Prime Minister of India in these circumstances. Otherwise, India would have violence. So we need a PM. He said, "Don't worry." I really, what was that? Padma Mukherjee thought that he would be offered a prime ministership as he is supported by uh, president also, and then he is very close to uh, Indira Gandhi also. But do you know what had happened here is that Rajiv Gandhi said that okay, I will become the PM, and in the evening only he got swearing ceremony and he became the prime minister of India. Three days till no forces Delhi me didn't call it. Why? Because there was anti-Sikh riot going on there. the thousands of people were killed all part of india and mostly the many thousands of people were killed in delhi this is the story we know so this this violence that occurred especially by the hindus over the sikh is known as a anti sikh riot in delhi in 1984 followed by the death of indira gandhi so this riot began on the 31st of october only and continued until the early november 1984 despite epicenters witness the worst violence followed by incident like in haryana uttar pradesh and madhy pradesh what is the nature of violence mobs armed with weapons kerosene and the petrol targeted sikh neighborhoods sikh were beaten burnt alive their properties were looted and then destroyed gurdwara sikh temples were also destroyed many sikh people tried to hide their identity after especially the same in their head same in their especially sevens and all this is happened so what is the role of authorities allegations emerge of police in inactions or conclusion allowing the mobs to continue the unchat accusations were labeled against the congress leaders for instigating the violence aur sabse badi charge to hamari prime minister pe laga hai it is clear that why rajiv gandhi did not call for reserve forces who are mostly situated in the morat merat sane mein 4 ghante lagte reserve forces the but he called reserve forces to maintain the violence only after 3 days that is a 72 hour so he is level for that committee ha na especially one thing is very clear about the political layout of the anti sikh riot rajiv gandhi had said something what was his controversial remark when a big tree falls the earth sets further alienate the victims to jab bhai bade ped katenge to dikkat to hogi and when the leader will die the violence will occur simple and clear so his remark is very controversial for this purpose especially two committee came to be formed one committee was the rangnath committee mr rangnath misra commission 
and then second was a Nanavati Commission 2000. These people acknowledged the administrative lapses during the 1984 anti rights but failed to ensure a comprehensive justice. Persecutions were slow with cases lingering for decades. High profile figures like Jadis, uh, Tetler, then we have Sajjan Kumar initially faced minimal consequences. However, Sajjan Kumar was convicted in 2018 highlighting the delayed justice and this is what happened in the uh, NTC right. Now I will tell you and I hope that you are able to understand what is the background of the Thalistan movement, what is Operation Blue Star and that is uh, followed by uh, assassination of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and then further followed by the anti sikh riot. Now I will discuss about two to three individual person in detail so that we understand what is their involvement or support in this one. So one such person is a Jnani Jelsi, in ke baare mein humne bahut detail mein padha bhi hai. Who was he? He was a loyal of Congress, he was a loyal of Indira Gandhi and he became the Prime Minister, he became the Chief Minister of Punjab in 1971 election. Unke baad kya hua? Wahan pe 1977 mein Punjab had lost this one and Akali Dal formed the government. So after that time what happened especially this person had given some roles. Inko role kya mila? So as a chief minister he had brought something. So between 72 and 77 he established India's first semi-conductor unit in Mohale. He implemented Punjab land reforms in 1972. He advocated for the reservations for marginalized Sikh and Dalit community. So, in the 1980, he was made the Home Minister who saw the Punjab versioning insurgency influenced by Vindaran Wala. He had a problems with the new Congress CM, Darbar Singh ke saath inki bohat differences thi. Indra Gandhi nahi chaati thi ki Home Minister Jnani Jail Singh and Darbar Singh should have conflict. So, she decided to meet him and she decided to sideline him from the politics and he was made the President of India. So, he became the President of India who has witnessed key events like Operation Blue Star, assassination of Indra Gandhi and anti sikh riots. In the time, there was a And he is especially known for the pocket voting power, veto power. Because he had a political differences now with the, Indra, uh, with the Rajiv Gandhi, who now become the, became the Prime Minister of India. Especially, Rajiv Gandhi stopped meeting him, stopped briefing him about national affairs, international affairs. And there is a huge differences between that. And for that reason, especially when Rajiv Gandhi wanted to pass the Indian Postal Bill, the president had used veto power and did not return the bill. This is the most important point that we know about this perspectives right now. Hana? Uske baad, uh, Rajiv Gandhi pe challenge bhi kiya. When the buffer streams uh, issue was raised over Rajiv Gandhi, he asked to explain these things. So this is what we know about this person and he is known for supporting the Vindaran Valan, not in the 1984, but in the 1977 to 1980. Now the second most important person in this one, apart, apart from Vindaran Valan, is the Sahabet Singh. He was a major general. Do you know, he was so patriot that he played important role in the World War II, 1948, 1947 war, then 1962 war, 1965 war and he was most important in the 1971 Pakistan war which saw the liberation of Bangladesh through the Mutti Bahini and he is the main person behind the training of the Mutti Bahini Sena in Bangladesh. Okay, this is what we know. But if you know, there is a problem. He was a very loyal to the nation. And in 1975, he was asked, in 1975, he was asked by Indira Gandhi to suppress the Bihar movement, which is known as total revolutions. And he asked, he was asked by Indira Gandhi to arrest Jay Bhagras Narayan. But he replied that do not, do not interfere or do not involve army into the political matter. Our army will not support you. So, Indira Gandhi became very unhappy against this person who is a major general. And do you know, just before few months of the retirement, she had removed him from the post. Do you know what was the charge put on him? A charge of corruption was put, alleged corruption charge was involved that he has purchased the vehicle Jonga, which is a vehicle. Hai. This is a vehicle that is blamed that he has, per he has he had purchased and in this vehicle ke ke mein, he had been removed from the post. He was stripped of his rank without court marshal, court marshal and denied pension benefit in 1976. Although he was acquitted with all the charges by February 1984, but this person had found problems. Ek aur incident hua hai. Pehle to he was humiliated 
इतने बड़े देशभक्त है जिसको आर्मी से निकाल दिया बिना कोई बिगल चार्ज बिना कोई कोर्ट मार्शल द्वारा सेकेंड पॉइंट वन सपोन टाइम ही वॉज वॉचिंग एशियन गेम ऑफ द नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ही अलॉन्ग विद दी अदर सिख फ्रेंड वर आस टू लीव द स्टेडियम बिकॉज दे वर सिख नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर में इनको वहाँ से भगाया गया हटाया गया सो दीज सिख पीपल इंक्लूडिंग दी शाहबेद सिंह हु वॉज अ मेजर जनरल ऑफ आर्मी सो दैट ही इज एंड द ऑल सिख पीपल आर ह्यूमुलिएटेड सो दिस सिंबल ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट the discrimination of the government over the sikh people are taken as the target of the sikh religion sikh community that is why he had supported hereafter vindaran walan and he had joined the dharm yuddh morcha kaun sa morcha dharm yuddh morcha he had joined and he had supported this persons hai na to inhone he had supported a lot he had a very important say and he was the main architect of the uh, fortification of golden temple for the vindaran walan what was he saying about vindaran walan i have taken this quotation from the telegraph kolkata uh, which is a interview given to the uh, telegraph kolkata by vindar by the jarnail singh uh, suhebar so he said as far as my relation with san jarnail are concerned there is nothing to suspect i have told you that i am patriot i am patriot probably in a finer mold ये दैन इवेन दी प्राइम मिनिस्टर हासिल जितना पी एम देशभक्त है उससे ज्यादा देशभक्त मैं हूं आई हैव मेट विंडार एन वालन देर इज नो डाउट ऑफ इट दैट आई ऑल्सो फील दैट देर इज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग टच ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिज्म इन दिस पर्सन ही इज अ मैन हु स्टैंड बाई ट्रूथ द गवर्नमेंट इज डिलिबरेटली टर्मिंग ही मदर ट्रेटर बिकॉज हिज ब्रांड ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स प्रोबली डजेंट सूट थिंग तो जो पॉलिटिक्स है जर्नेल सिंह की और गवर्नमेंट को सूट नहीं कर रहा है इसलिए डिफरेंसेस है अदरवाइज ही इज नॉट अ टेरिस्ट है ना ही इज ट्राइंग टू डिफेंड दिस पर्सन एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी नो अबाउट द मेजर जनरल शहबाज सिंह हु वॉज स्किल्ड अलॉन्ग विद दैट आल्सो इसके बाद थोड़े से मैटर सॉल्व हुई एंड आई आई हैज आई हैव डिस्कस इन द बिगिनिंग दैट स्पेशली इन द मंथ ऑफ नवंबर नाइनटीन एटी फोर एंड इन 1985, especially in the month of this time only, especially there is a persons, है ना तो 1985, एटी फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाइनटीन एटी फाइव वी हैव दी ईयर इंडिया फ्लाइट ओन एटी बॉम्ड बाई दी थालिस्तानी स्टिमिस मास्टर माइंड बाई इंद्रजीत सिंह रियात एंड तलविंदर सिंह परमार है ना हु हैड किल अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन पीपल एंड फॉलोड बाई दिस एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन दी अकाली दल लीडर संत हरचंद सिंह लोंगोल लोंगोलवाला एंड राजीव गांधी अकॉर्ड हैड बिन साइन और उसके बाद पीस मेंटेन हुआ बट स्टिमिजम अभी भी कंटिन्यू था इन द नाइनटीन एटीज नाइनटीन नाइनटीज स्टिमिजम वॉज देयर वेन स्पेशली डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह बिकेम द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड मेटर हैड बिन ट्राई टू बी रिजॉल्व स्पेशली इन द नाइनटीन नाइनटीज जब अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी रूल पी एम बनते हैं एंड स्पेशली वेन दी मनमोहन सिंह बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इन टू थाउजेंड फोर उसके बाद थोड़ा सा देर इज अलिनेशन है ना देर इज अ सम टाइप ऑफ फीलिंग दैट वी ऑल आर सेम अदरवाइज द नाइनटीन एटीज एंड नाइनटीज सो दी स्ट्रीम चैलेंजेज स्पेशली इन दिज स्टेट है ना दिस इज वाट वी कम टू नो अबाउट दिस टॉपिक सो वाट वी मोर नो आई हैड इंट्रीब्यूट सम ऑफ दी पीपल हु आर माई क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स एंड देन आई केम टू कंक्लूजन that after 1980s and 90s the local people who are sick who had nothing to do with vindaran walan who had nothing to do with the khalistani movement local sick normal sick aam aadmi had faced a lot of discrimination in punjab especially a government led by congress try to put false charges on them that you are a khalistani supporter और पुलिस जान बुझ के द पुलिस इज टू पुट चार्जेस एंड इज टू गेट स्टॉसन मनी लोगों से पैसे लेते थे करप्शन के रूप में चार्ज के रूप में स्टॉसन मनी के रूप में ताकि मैं आप पे कोई केस ना डाल दूं एंड मेनी पीपल हैड बिन ह्यूमुलेटेड मेनी वुमेन हैड बिन रेप्ड एंड सो मेनी बैड थिंग्स हैड बिन डन इन दी नाइनटीन एटीज एंड नाइनटीज सो लोकल आम आदमी जो सिख थे हैड टू फेस अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग सो हिस्टोरियन आर्ग्यू भी करते हैं तीसरे बाद क्या हुआ आफ्टर दिस वन है ना द फीलिंग ऑफ द सेपरेट नेशन वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल बिफोर 1984 बट दिस ऑपरेशन ब्लू स्टार फॉलोड बाय द एंटी सिख रॉयट 
created more differences in the hearts of the Sikh population that is now being solved. Abhi ye problem jo hai hume thoda sa solve lag raha hai. But abhi bhi ye movement chal raha hai that you can discuss about this person, especially when Hardeep Singh Nijjar had been killed, assassinated, especially the British, especially the Canadian president. Canadian president believes, hai na? This person, Canadian president believe karte hai, jo terode hai. Trudeau believes that there is involvement of the Indian agencies into the assassination of this person that is mentioned here. This person is Hardeep Singh Nijjar. He was an advocate of Khalistan, a specialist, uh, uh, he was a separatist movement seeking an independent Sikh state in India's Punjab. He was labeled traditional by India in 2020 for his illegal involvement in the violent activities. In India, so this point was. इन्होंने क्लेम किया कि मैंने हमारा जो इंडियन एजेंसीज है कई डिप्लोमेट है इंडियन होम मिनिस्टर है ना हमारा जो होम मिनिस्टर हमारा जो प्रिय होम मिनिस्टर है अमित शाह जी इनके बारे में बोला गया कि इनका इन्वॉल्वमेंट है हमारे एन एस का इन्वॉल्वमेंट है एंड देन देज ए टसल बिटवीन दिस टू कंट्री दैट हाउ कैन कनाडा ब्लेम दैट आवर थिंग्स आवर आवर इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज देयर इन्वॉल्वमेंट होगा भी तो हम बताने थोड़ी जाएंगे बट ये जो इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमिलेशन था ये थोड़ी हमारी प्रॉब्लम्स रही इसके बाद स्पेशली बोथ द कंट्री ट्राई टू एक्सपेल देयर डिप्लोमेट्स और दोनों के डिप्लोमेट्स बाहर आए अभी दीपावली में प्रॉब्लम्स हुई थी स्पेशली द अपोजिशन लीडर हैड टू अटेंड अ दीपावली सेरेमनी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द इंडियन कम्युनिटी हु आर कनाडियन नॉट इंडियन है ना इंडियन कम्युनिटी है तो ही कैंसिल हिज प्रोग्राम सो दीपावली सही से बन नहीं पाई इन इंडिया डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया ऑल्सो द सिख पीपल डिड नॉट दी फॉलो दीपावली यू नो दैट इन इंडिया दीपावली इज फॉलोड बाई एवरी whether you are Hindu, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikh, Parsi, even Muslim people also have a problem with Deepa. But now there is a little problem and we have some type of differences are there. So both the parties spell Canadian diplomats and withdraw its own envoy, citing dissatisfaction with the Canada handling of this one. Now what is the international association? Even if it doesn't interfere, USA is not doing anything. USA is just saying, as per legal process, है ना तो यूएस एन अदर अलाइज हैव फाउंड देम सेल्फ इन अ चैलेंजिंग पोजीशन आज बोथ कनाडा एंड इंडिया आर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्टनर्स बट यूएस एन हैड इम्पेसाइज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंसी इट हैज सपोर्टेड दी शॉर्ट ऑफ टॉप साइड्स आल्सो तो इससे पोटेंशियल फ्यूचर इंप्लीकेशन क्या है वी हैड अ ट्रेड एंड कॉपरेशन इज डेंजर वी ट्रेड टॉक्स स्टॉल म्यूचुअल डिस्ट्रेस राइजिंग क्राइसिस वुड हिंडर इकोनॉमी एंड स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन द टू नेशन Dispora politics पे दिख रहा था रे last Sikh community in Canada is a significant voter base influencing the Canada's domestic and foreign policy global problems भी आ रही हैं तो these are the major problems we have seen so I hope that you are able to understand this topic जो हमारा जो topic है आप समझ पाए हो and do you know if you go through this PPT and if you go through this topic you will be able to understand that what is the Khalistani movement and what is Operation Blue Star okay what I will do a student I will upload this PPT in the video also. The PPT जो है उस video में भी link में हमारा जो video है उसके link में PPT भी रहेगी. So you can slowly follow the PPT also. And if you understand this PPT very nicely in this video, or if you read PPT yourself also, you will be able to clear all your doubts on the Khalistani movement, Khalistan movement and Operation Blue Star followed by important important things. This is important for next time, 25 prelims examination, mains examination. I hope that you understood this video. Uh, we'll see you in the other video. If you have any doubt, concern related, you can comment here in the YouTube channel. हम अपना जो जो history optional की जो classes है, वो second of Germany से नहीं start होने वाली है. So if you want, you can join us. Contact on our official number. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.